Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. Still on Mazenamdi Kano's case. It has just been said, times that number, that Mazenamdi Kano is not the problem of Nigeria. But as it stands now, the Nigerian government are making it obvious to everyone that they are not set to release Mazenamdi Kano from prison. And just like we have been hearing from Mazenamdi Kano's lawyers, Something is happening to him and his health is also deteriorating. For over 14 months, Mazenam Dikan has been kept in custody, different court trials, different appearance in courts, and yet no bail terms has been reached for him to get him released on bail. Now, Ohanese has also issued a strong warning to the Nigerian government still on Inamde Kano's release saying that unimaginable crisis you know will happen if anything bad happens to Inamde Kano in prison. What is your take to this? For Ohane is it to have issued this kind of warning to the Nigerian government you should know that it has gotten to a very skyrocketing level. Now we just hope that in no time we will see uh, a huge difference in this situation. Well, we would like you to see it as, as to go into the full details of the news. It's an imaginable crisis if something bad happens to Enam Dikano's prison. You know, in prison, that is what Ohanese have said as the issue of strong warning to the Nigerian government. According to the news, the Southeast Social Cultural Group, the Ohanese Indibo, has warned the Nigerian government to make sure that nothing untowards happens to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop, in Amdi Kano in prison. The Apex Civil Organization on Tuesday, in a statement by its national spokesperson, Mr. Alex Obunaya, warned that Kano must not die in the Department of State Service DSS custody. Ohanese in the boost warning is sequel to an alarm raised by Kano's lead council. He find a job for that the IPOB leader was diagnosed with gastrointestinal disorder following persistent heartburn. The Igbo social cultural group in the statement reads the attention of the Ohanese in the board wide has been drawn to the deteriorating health of the leader of the indigenous peoples of Biafra, Ipop, Inamdi, Kanu. Information reaching us indicates that Inamdi Kanu is currently suffering from gastrointestinal illness, which necessitates the constant use of antacids and other available medical treatments as soon as possible. It adds that the DSS has refused to allow him to have even the smallest amount of the prescribed painkiller, which could give him short time despite you know short time repite you know respite pardon. Report from Ifine Ejo for the IPOP's attorney for the arts that the DSS has repeatedly treated the existing court order, which see, you know, specifically directed that Enam Dikano should be granted access to his doctor for an independent review investigation of his current health status with the utmost content and disdain. The above report should be very worrisome to any fair-minded patriotic Nigerian, the fair-minded and patriotic because it is self-evident that Inamdi Kano phenomenon is a product of circumstances. Several patrons such as Chief E.K. Clark, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, Chief Olushegun Obasanjo, Aminu Waziri Tambuwal, Dr. Baitrus Pogu, among others, 
have decried the unjust treatment to the Igbo of the Southeast. Ohanese in Igbo, the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization and several eminent Igbo have repeatedly appealed to the heart of Mr. President to release Mazi in Andikano on the premise of a political solution. The only living legend among those that fought for the Nigerian independence and the Minister of Aviation in the First Republic, Chief Basili K. Amechi, presented the request to Mr. President, that is, Buhari, when he visited Abakaliki Eboyin State as his last wish. Earlier before that, Basili K. had also met, you know, met President Buhari in Asorok, Abuja, for the same reason. In the interim, common sense will ask, why deny Mazenamdikano the necessary access to the medical doctor? This is very curious and raises a lot of questions. Finally, it is common knowledge that the incarceration of Inamdikano has rather contributed to the enormity of insecurity in the southeast, and one wonders what will happen if, by utter carelessness, negligence, or unnecessary victimization, something untowards happens to Mazenamdikano. Instructively, many uninformed Nigerians share the base reasoning of the proverbial ostrich. The ostrich buries its head in the sand, joyously flapping its wings and believes that it has escaped from reality. As the ostrich, the civilized world is watching. What is your take to this? What is your own point of view to this that has been said? We've just had the Apex Ebo Social Cultural Organization on Tuesday in a statement that was issued by the national spokesperson, Mr. Alex Obonaya, as the one that Mazenam Dekano must not die in the Department of State Service, DSS Custody. He must not die. Anything or something untowards must not happen to him because we call, you know, a link Muslim Khan's incarceration to the present insecurity in Southeast. Now just imagine if this man dies, imagine what will become of Southeast states. Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this that has been said? But before we go, let's see what people have felt to this. Tochuku said, free him now, holding him for nothing against Nigerian law is a worse disgrace to Nigeria. Free him now and embrace peace. That is what Tuchuku have said. Different reactions from different people. For Mazenam Nikan, that is what everybody is clamoring for. He must not die in prison. If he dies, what will happen will be an unimaginable crisis. That is what has been said as a warning by Ohanese to the Nigerian government. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.